everybody. How are you today? Happy Wednesday. I hope you all are having a wonderful morning so far. I hope you're making lots of memories already with your family. And I hope that you had a, an amazing evening with your parents, your siblings, with all your family. I know I did. I love family time. Especially in Christmas time. It is so important to make those memories. Um, when you get older, you're going to remember, oh, remember when we did this or when we went for a walk, things like that. It's good to remember those things and go back to them and it just fills your heart with lots of warm, fuzzy feelings, right? Well, today we're going to read a really cute story. It's called Santa's New Jet. Let's see. Okay, are you ready? It says... Christmas Eve was coming, and it was time to get ready for the big night. The sleigh needed work, a lot of work. I went to get the reindeer. They were out of shape, really out of shape. I wonder if they had a lot of cookies. It was time to practice. Practice was less than perfect. It wasn't looking good for Christmas, but Orville, the elf, had an idea. Orville said the elves could build me a jet, deliver the toys. I like his plan. The elves worked their magic, and the next day, I had a jet in my favorite color with an extra white seat. And that was easy to use and had many safety features. What is his favorite color? What do you think? Red. And it had parachutes. It had a warmer for the hot cocoa. Also had the maps. And it had a um, activator for when, if he needs help. Hopefully he doesn't need them. I took the jet out for a spin. The elves waved, but I wonder where the ranger went. The jet was fast and it carried lots of toys. I could fly with the top up or the top down. On Christmas Eve, the elves helped me pack the jet and off I went. The jet was noisy and the on the onboard computer kept telling me where to go. The voice sounded just like Mrs. Claus. Slow down. It is now 1201. Do you know where your ranger are? I miss the rangers and the gentle slate bells. I also miss landing on the first, second, third, and fourth roof. On the fifth roof, I woke everyone up. The ranger were never this loud. Blitzen had always been good at telling me what toys to leave. But at the next stop, I just popped toys from the jet into the house and it was easy, maybe too easy. Later, Fox said in, in and I couldn't see. I needed Rudolph to light the way. I was falling behind and it was almost Christmas morning. I used a flare to signal for help. The ranger saw my SOS all the way up in the North Pole. They hitched themselves up and away they flew. They found me in no time. The ranger were in great shape and the slate had never looked better. The ranger did their work quietly and Christmas was saved. I wonder what they were thinking about. What do you think? Now, sometimes we change things and we don't like it and that's okay because we think that the way that we do other things don't work, right? But that's okay. We need to be kind about it and try new things, right? That's what I think. Now, have you tried anything new this week? Have you tried any kind words with your parents, with your friends, 
or siblings? How about if you try doing something kind for your family? You think about it and you let me know, okay? I'll see you tomorrow and have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed evening with your family. And remember, be kind to one another and make lots of memories. See you later. Bye.